Hello everybody, my name's Bryn, and today I will be teaching you how to create and export your very own material pack. First, let's hit create. Here we have the menu to create your own material pack, which you will get used to very soon. First, you will have to create your very own name for your material pack. My case is Algebra. Alright, be careful not to hit delete material. This time around, let's answer the question. I'll put 21x plus 21x equals. Now down below, you will have to put the correct answer. In this case, the answer will be 21x plus 21x, which is 42x. Now, next up, we have to create wrong answers for our students. So, let's see, 43x. Alright, just one number might confuse them. Next up, 32x. And down below, 42. Plain and simple. Now you can create even more questions with your material pack. The numbers are limitless, so create as much as you want. Hit create question, and a new question will pop up on your list. This time around, I will put 13x plus why? Now my right answer would be the same expression, x plus 6, y. But let's put some wrong answers. Oh, whoops. 19x, y. Mm, that's incorrect. 19, plain and simple. And 13 plus 6. Alright, you can create even more questions, but if you don't want the question that you've accidentally created, you can just delete question and it will go off your list. Once you're done with everything, just hit save and your material pack will be saved. Now you can play and edit as much as you want. If you hit edit, you can go in and keep creating even more questions. And if you hit play, you can go ahead and start a battle using those questions. Now I'm playing Mad Mind Battles using my question pack. You can use this for anything really if you have a math, science, English, trivia test coming up. Use Mad Mind Battles and it will be really useful. It could be for anything. Creating question packs is only limited by your imagination. Now, on to export. Once you have everything set up, you will have to visit your documents on your PC and My Games. You will find a folder called My Games where another folder called Mad Mind Battles and Materials will be. There you will access custom materials and you will find all of your materials that you've created. There you can open them up as text editor and use them. You can also pass them onto your USB and this way, pass it on to other friends, family, and students, or teachers if they need so. This was how to create materials and export them using Math Mind Battle.